Hello YouTube friends, Dr. Teresa here. Today I'm going to talk about how to store decapsulated brine shrimp when you want to make a larger batch. I want to thank Billy Hall for his idea when he asked about this. So a shout out to Billy Hall. Well, I'm going to follow my normal simple recipe, but I have to say I really don't like decapsulated brine shrimp. It's just so unpredictable. You really have to have good light or sunlight to see just the right level of orange to determine when you've processed the brine shrimp eggs just enough and make sure you didn't do it too much. And even though I'm demonstrating in this video, I even had a suspicion while working that I had overprocessed this batch. So I start out the same as I normally do and I'm going to link my recipe video in here also at the end. But normally I use approximately a quarter teaspoon for a single decapsulation episode. But if you want to make more at one time, I recommend not going more than one tablespoon because you can only store the prepared decapsulated brine shrimp in the refrigerator for a few weeks. So I, I've already gone through my decapsulation process with that one tablespoon and now I'm scraping out as much as I can into a storage container. And once I get that all scraped out, I'm ready to start adding salt. I just use regular aquarium sea salt for this. Um, and basically you just keep adding salt until the mixture, which looks sort of like a loose peanut butter, becomes super saturated. That means that you keep adding salt until the mixture won't break the salt down or dissolve it anymore. So that took me about three or four minutes to keep adding salt to levels where it got to this point where it's starting to get kind of thick and chunky looking. And you can see that the sea salt really just isn't breaking down anymore. So it's ready to be stored. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and let it sit overnight. The next day I get ready to prepare, prepare my hatch and I fill my hatching vessel with only about three quarters of prepared seawater because I want to offset all the extra salt that is in the decapsulated brine um, solution. So I'm taking one teaspoon of the prepared solution and I'm going to add it to the hatching vessel. Get that mixed in. And then I'm going to offset that extra salt by adding regular tap water with no salt added to it and filling it up to my normal fill line, which is that elastic band that I use to hold the hose in place. Now I'm ready to put the lid on, cap up the decapsulated brine mixture, put that back in the refrigerator, don't forget to do that. And then getting my hatcher hooked up to the airline and my light turned on and letting it go for about 24 hours as I normally would. Well, here's the mixture after the 24 hours and as I suspected, I had overprocessed this particular batch. You can see a lot sitting um, on the bottom, not hatched. Usually decapsulated brine hat hatches way earlier than other um, brine with the shell on. I do have some that are alive and you can see them, but way more that are dead. But in general, you can see that this process works. It is successful. You can store the decapsulated brine solution for up to a couple of weeks in the refrigerator. But honestly, I find it just less tedious to hatch out brine shrimp eggs the traditional way. Well, I hope you found this video helpful and useful. I appreciate you watching. Please give a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. Take care and hope to see you next time.